action that will take place after the game. But right now, the top 25 matchup for you, a rematch, if you will, UCLA and Stanford. These teams meet. So her defense that she brings, the shot blocking, and she's really changed her form a little bit so that she avoids foul trouble. A lot of times now, just go with one hand instead of two. And then you have Charisma Osborne, who is a senior shooting guard. Now, I said guard, but she is leading this team in points and on the glass. You're going to see the guard get inside and mix it up for the Bruins. Now she's projected to be the ninth pick in the WNBA draft coming up. Second meeting between these two. The first took place on January 14th with Stanford getting the win. What happens tonight here in Palo Alto? All the way till the third quarter. It was a two-point game until that fourth, and that's when Stanford took off. So now, can UCLA hang around for four full quarters? Haley Jones with the basketball. She'll be honored tonight, one of those seniors. You'll watch UCLA in a man-to-man. -man. They're going to play off of Haley Jones. Going to force her to shoot it from outside. Kiki Rice with the steal. One of the freshmen for UCLA. They've got the top freshman class yes. in the nation. This number one recruit. This number one recruiting class. These freshmen came in with a lot of confidence from day one. Speaking of freshmen, Stanford with a starting freshman in the lineup. Talana Lipolo is the starting point guard for the Stanford team, just a freshman. And she talked about it. it was just such a great opportunity. She has appreciated this and what she has learned. She said, yeah, it's hard, but I think she has handled it masterfully. Stanford swinging it around. Hannah Jump was the intended target. It's taken away by Charisma Osborne. This UCLA team, they feel like they have grown so much since the last meeting with Stanford. A lot of potential. All eyes have been on UCLA and what they could do because of that freshman class coming in and the veterans they have returning. And Corey Close went straight to her freshman right away, giving that experience. Kiki Rice has been a starter from day one. Uh-oh, Cameron Brink snuck down the court and she gets fouled. She'll go to the free throw line. UCLA kept going at her. you got to understand when you are facing Cameron Brink, number 22 in white, she's in the paint. And if she has a step on you or even a step behind you, you may have to dribble in. Breaking All-American last season, one of two returning All-Americans for Stanford. They want to win the Pac-12 regular season title before they go to the Pac-12 tournament. Now they finish here with UCLA, then they go on the road to Colorado and Utah. Brink inside, going up against Cameron Brown, right over the top. Gina Conti, it hit the back of the backboard. Osborne swiped it. Up ahead to Conti, all alone for the layup. UCLA's transition defense. You look at what they're focused on when Stanford is running. They're protecting the rim and they're finding Hannah jumps. And UCLA conscious of helping to the paint. Well, they're going to force that outside shot for Stanford. Inside to Iwala. That was a tough shot around Lauren. Did back. she hit that over 6 7? Wow. That's going to return the favor. Back. She's at double figure points three of their last four games. Iwala couldn't get that one to go. Haley Jones off the screen from Betts. Count it! Well, UCLA, they played at Cal on Friday and they got to spend a little time. And San Francisco did a cruise by Alcatraz and then to the Golden Gate Bridge before making their way over to Palo Alto. And also on Saturday, they had a really meaningful sit down with a former player, Lauren Miller and Kiara Jefferson. Used to be a part of this UCLA program. They created the More Than a Dream program back during COVID. And the goal of that was to amplify black voices and share experiences. Kim said that that was so important to her and something she wanted to carry on. She said she wants to be 
more impactful than she's been and really impressed with what Lauren Miller has done. London Jones overshoots from the baseline. And there's a scramble for the loose ball. Three seconds, UCLA running out of time. Best Warrior's got to let it fly. She does, Swish. Patient all the way down to the end of the <laughs> shot clock, and they still were able to get good shots. You know how good Stanford's defense is. Yeah, it's third in the nation in field goal percentage defense are the Stanford Cardinal. Brooke Dimitri made that look easy. <laughs> 28 made threes on the season for Brooke. Oh, and Brooke. Dimitri plays a four, right? And so when she does, it's a four out, one in offense. So you either got to guard her from the three point line or that leaves Betts inside. London Jones answers. I told you that number three in blue. She's instant offense when she comes in the ball game. Stanford going inside to Cameron Brink. She sends it right back out to the freshman Lapolo. The freshman starting point guard for this veteran Stanford team. Of Lauren Betts. Yeah, that helps the defense, encourages the guards to be tougher on the perimeter. Stanford can hold for the last shot of the quarter. They've hit their last five shots. Oh, yeah. Haley Jones spinning in the lane. Cooking easy. Stanford Cardinal get ready to honor those seniors. Haley Jones, one of those. And the Cardinal, they've hit their last six shots. They were a top recruiting class coming in, and they made full use of their time here at Stanford. Now they call him the Funky Four. We asked Cameron Brink, not a senior, she's a junior, about the emotions today, and she said, oh, I'm going to be a mess. I'm, she said, I'm really glad they're honoring them after the game because they just mean so much to us. I talked to Cameron's mother before the game, and her mom said, there's Haley Jones posting up downstairs. She's going to make comments of ha for Hannah after yeah. the game, and she said she couldn't read, get all the way through it without busting into tears. Well, they were the number two recruiting class. Number yes. one was that group that's at South Carolina. They've had some battles. Absolutely. Including earlier this year. Eight seconds left. Haley Jones working. That's where Stanford's field goal percentage is so high. They're taking those high percentage shots and going inside in the paint. The block by Fran Belibi. Brink in the high post. Working on Cameron Brown. Over the top. And Corey Close is going to call time out. Maples Pavilion loves it. Stanford rolling. So Cameron Brink, Haley Jones, these are kind of the two leaders. They're the two returning All-Americans. Well, Haley Jones has really understood the assignment from Tara Vanderveer of get the ball down low, inside, establish the post game. You know, Tara Vanderveer was talking to us yesterday at practice. She said, we lost Lexi and Lacey Hole and Anna Wilson. They made those hustle plays all the time. And now she said, look, Cam Brink and Haley Jones, they have to step up. It's time for them to do the dirty work and lead the way. Along with Cameron and Haley that have been able to have Stanford to be successful. Well, undefeated number one, South Carolina, taking on Tennessee Thursday. They were so intentional about getting it to her down low. This freshman at 6'7", as I've watched her develop this year, this season. <laughs> Haley Jones is all one. That's a senior day bounce. You know? <laughs> But Lauren Betts, I see in her what South Carolina is benefiting from in Camilla Cardoso. The experience is tremendous. The confidence that she's gaining right now in this program has been huge. Look, you've got shot blockers. You've got players that are a force in the paint. They're willing to pass, repost, play that inside-out game. UCLA hasn't had a field goal in almost three minutes. Paquez, the fadeaway. And Betts comes down with it. We were talking to Haley Jones earlier today, and she said, you know, as far as distributing the basketball, sometimes I miss him. 
But I say, yeah, yeah, but you weren't really that open. She'll sell it on the fact yeah. that <laughs> wasn't the pass she needed to make. Her versatility, her vision. Well, she said she gets more excited about setting up other players. Oh, absolutely. She brings the energy now, especially when she's on the bench. With UCLA struggling to score from the perimeter, when you start missing those first early shots, that basket starts to shrink. Shots get tougher and tougher to make. It's hard to go against Cameron Brink. London Jones up ahead to Conti. Trying to challenge Haley Jones. And I've not seen their offense really get organized to execute that transition action. Two for Conti. Keep an eye on Hannah Jump. That's the shooter out of bounds. 33 and white. Missed by Betts, rebound by Iwala. No field goals in five and a half minutes for UCLA. Trying to feed Iwala, going to the basket. Oh, it went in and out. Second chance, yes, there it is. You can't try to play them when they've got you. They're defending you right behind your back. Now a 6-0 run for UCLA because of scoring drought for the Stanford Cardinal. Adela Polo said, hey, I got you. And you got a point guard that can shoot the three like Apollo can. Makes him dangerous. There's London Jones. They'll throw it back up to Betts. Short. She started Whoa. this game three for three. And UCLA does need to slow down, but it's not their first option. It needs to be second or third, or it needs to be the option of London Jones. Here he offers. Four games, too, a little bit bigger lineup with her in it. Iwala. This is Charisma Osborne is there. That's why she's their leading rebounder. But ran out of time. UCLA brought a little run and jump. You spend the energy to make it tough, get it in, and try to take it away. Jones back to Lapolo. That's two from the same spot. You got to keep up with number 10, the point guard. And see, this is what's happened. Haley Jones has taken over the point guard position, and they have moved Lapolo into that shooting guard slot. Lapolo three for three from three. Two second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. differently from UCLA? Well, UCLA has got to get Cameron Brink and the length of this Cardinal occupied inside so that they're able to get loose for shots. Offensive rebound, Osborne gets a second take, and there are her first points. Osborne's got to get going for UCLA. An adjustment a lot of teams make when you're trying to slow down the bleeding points in the paint, and you may go a little bit of zone just to change things up. Second foul whistled against Haley Jones. Uh, we talked to Charisma Osborne after shoot around today. And she said, look, I'm the captain. There's four of them. They've been meshing that seniors, those veterans, with the younger group. That was interesting. She said, sometimes we ask the questions the freshmen don't even know they need to ask. It's good leadership. And now, and once they ask those questions, and the freshmen go, oh, yeah, I hadn't thought about it that way. And that turned the up defense the defense. Here. Yes. Yeah. We saw them press in the first half, but this time getting a turnover, trying to get a bucket. Bessoir with the offensive rebound. Osborne letting it fly. sitting courtside watching Cameron Brink, who his parents are her godparents. You know, he shoots a he's pretty good shooting a three-pointer. Do you think he liked the, the two from Charisma Osborne? I know she plays for the other team he's cheering for. Let me tell you, when you see Steph Curry sitting on the inline, 
pressure. You can't go 0 for you got to show out from the three-point line. And Osborne has done exactly that coming out of the locker room to start the third quarter. She's already hit two. Yeah, Charisma Osborne has gone on an 8-0 run by herself. Lauren Butts in the game. She started this game three for three. Remember, she's just a freshman. But she is not just a post player. She's dominant inside. Beck's finishing off the three-point play. That gives her 10 points up ahead to Cameron Brown. And there's a the transition. Charisma Osborne really hunting buckets. And then defensively, the heat turned up. Now the speed of the game, I expect, to turn up as well for UCLA. That's trying to go over best water. In comes Navarre. Charisma Osborne, she has leveled up here in the third quarter. The kick out to Conti. Bessoir. Corey Close told us first half, she was really going to measure things out and see what adjustments needed to be made. She's made some great adjustments in this second half. Cameron Brown almost lost it. Five seconds on the shot clock. Kiki Rice, how does she get through that traffic? Stanford's led by as many as 16. UCLA has just chipped away at that lead with a quickness. Rapolo inside to break. Going to free throw line. Bessoir knocking it down from the three-point line, bringing the intensity that Corey Close was looking for. The adjustments were, you just need to turn it up. Look, UCLA, they're on a four-game winning streak, and it was some effort plays, rebounding, live ball turnovers. Those were things that cost them. Charisma Osmond said she watched it over and over. She said she watched it by herself. She watched it with her teammates. What a pass! Sontag going to the basket, the pass from Stanford's been outscored by 10 points here in the third quarter. Another thing that UCLA worked on was not to be screened. I mean, a lot of screening action from Stanford. A kick to the corner, Agnes Simonopo. back in control, directing traffic. It's going to be a high ball screen action. Iwala. Chris Bonhoeffer, she's projected to be the ninth pick in the WNBA draft. She leads the team in redamp bounding from the guard spot. You've got to have the versatility of your game and be willing to play the point and the two. She had to play the point guard good spot last season. Doesn't really love it, but I believe she will if she has to. A second offensive rebound. Another high ball screen for Osborne. Looking for Iwala into the corner. Suntok. Corner pocket. Osborne has taken over the point guard spot for UCLA so far in this in this second half. First lead for the Bruins since the 445 mark in the first quarter. Stanford just seven points here in the third quarter. Lauren Betts working around in Walla. Iwala. Hot for all, a little drama. Christine Iwala. How Christine Iwala is able to score over 6 7 is amazing. She's got seven points. Taken away by UCLA. Charisma Osborne using her speed. Miss the layup. And then Hawkeyes foul Haley Jones.
It's been a totally different UCLA here in the third quarter. UCLA is dominating the glass. They have 29 rebounds, but Cameron Brink answers it inside. Just weaving her way to the basket. 16 for Brink. Conti running things now for UCLA. Looking for the last shot of the third quarter. Taken away by Hannah Jump. Cameron Brown trying to get it right back. Back and forth in the final seconds of the third quarter. But it's been about UCLA outscoring Stanford 25 to 11 in the third. But then for Indiana, you got Mackenzie Holmes that brings 20, almost 23 points a game. A little inside, outside by post game and from guard play. This game has become close because UCLA outscoring Stanford in the third quarter, 25 to 11. Osborne trying to hunt. London Jones stopped by Haley Jones. Cameron Brink coast to coast. Wow. Yes! To the free throw line. Brink taking over. UCLA de delivered the first punch in the third. It's Stanford coming out of this fourth quarter. And Cameron Brink forcing the issue, attacking the basket. Getting to the rim and also a trip to the free throw line. Three point play, Cameron Brink. There should be a foul away from the ball. London Jones. Yeah, they got to keep up London with Lyndon Jones. Jones. The way that this Pac-12 Freshman of the Week has been playing, number three. Corey Close is going to run plays to her. Frank's determined right now to get back to the free throw line. Watching on, family friend. Osborne gets swarmed, possession arrow to UCLA. So you don't have to play on those first two days of the tournament. It's on tag. Has it taken away? Too many defenders on her. And Cameron Brink has Charisma Osborne on her down low. And we want to let you know, too, about our Wednesday doubleheader. It starts in Gainesville. That smart play by Hannah Jump. She read that pass all the way. Free throw line area, that's money. Bread and butter. <laughs> Kiki Rice driving, and she's going to be fouled. We've seen it flip now. Stanford has outscored UCLA 9 to 2 here in the fourth quarter. Cardinal on a 6-0 run as Rice misses the first. Yeah, check this out. UCLA, they got three freshmen on the floor right now. Gets one of two. Brooke Dimitri, it rattles out. I'm pretty sure Haley Jones can do everything. That's what's going to make her, her draft stock so high. She'll go, got to go in the top four in the draft. 
We asked her about that versatility. She said, I was, when I was small, I played the guard spot. I kept those skills, and when I grew, I added my post-up game. Six seconds. So any foul here on out, UCLA's going to the line. UCLA still has one to give. Big free throws by the freshman. So the next one by the Bruins since Stanford at the free throw line. Brinkany Walla, one on one. Walla just gives up a few inches down low. Has no other option. When you let Brink get that low, you got to foul her. It's the only way to stop her. That's three, though, on Iwala. Stanford at 17 of 17 from the free throw line. Brink's 13 of 13. She has 23 points on the night. Give you right, little bit range. And Jones traveled, mm. slid a little bit. Stanford 17 for 17 from the free throw line. They've outscored UCLA 11 to 7 here in the fourth quarter after UCLA put up 25 points in the third. Charisma Osborne, enough said. The other thing she said is. My mid-range has been a little sweet to me, so I've got to go back and rely on that and also shot fakes. Haley Jones back in the game. That's a good sign. She limped over to the Stanford bench moments ago, but seems to be okay. Six seconds. So I'm going to tell you, that little, that little pocket pass, Charisma Osborne times that perfectly as the posts are cut into the basket. 6-0 run for UCLA. Back on top by a point. And it was her right foot. They took her shoe off in the timeout. That one bounces out. That's the first time that Stanford has missed a free throw tonight. They started 18 for 18. Stanford's being out-rebounded right now, 34 to 29 by UCLA. This is a team that's fifth in the nation in rebounds per game. They've won the rebounding battle in all but three games this year. Believe he swipes it. Stanford hasn't had a field goal in four minutes. Look how Cameron Brink is working inside. Brink on the offensive glass. So it's going to be Stanford ball. Haley Jones to inbound. Napolo looking for help. So, Charisma Osborne, she's a senior, too. Tong Tok, range! Much better fourth quarter for UCLA this time around. Tara Vanderveer calls timeout. We step aside. Really make the defense have to really collapse down low. Now, keep an eye on Brooke Dimitri, number 20, 21 in white. She also can shoot it from three. 23 points for Cameron Brink, six rebounds. Tara Vanderveer going a little defense now. Putting Belibi in the game. Lane violations, we're going to try it again. Sometimes it's just your night. Mulligan. Got it. 15 of 15 from the free throw line. London Jones from three. Short. 
Schaefer got in her face. Now UCLA, they got a D up right now. Stanford continue to go to Cameron Brink. She's fighting her senior. It's Haley Jones on the block. The two All-Americans had a great connection. Corey Close calls timeout. Got to look for shots for London, for London Jones. London Jones is in the corner, top of your screen. No bucket. You got to look for Stanford to inbound it. And remember, the press of UCLA gave Stanford some problems. Let's see Tar Vinegar say rebound. Corey Close is talking about you got to get one stop. Lapolo bringing it up the floor for Stanford. A minute to go. And Haley Jones now again going inside, playing that post up position. Six seconds. Jones with the shot fake. Cameron Brown still got a hand on it. Kiki Rice with the basketball for UCLA. Corey Close going to let him execute, not call the timeout. What are you looking for if you're UCLA? You got to go to the basket. Attack. Get yourself to the free throw line. Osborne, seven seconds. Brooke Dimitri with some nice defense. And now UCLA's got a foul. Brooke Dimitri did a tremendous job defensively. Good switch there on Charisma Osborne. Staying down, hand straight up. Talana Lapolo at the free throw line. And now UCLA. UCLA has two timeouts. to inbound. Osmond's got to go quick. Another opportunity for UCLA. Cameron Brink with a block. Stanford's defense. There's a reason they're one of the best defensive teams in the nation. And Cameron Brink has a lot to say about that defense that Stanford's able to bring. She is the eraser inside. It was the second free throw missed today from Stanford. Make it 23. Oh, she's out on her senior and now Haley Jones will take a seat on senior night. That's exactly what you want and what you expect. A tight game in the Pac-12. These two teams battling, but Stanford doing a terrific job protecting home court, commanding the pain inside, and Haley Jones stepping up big time in crucial moments when Tara Vanderveer needed her to. Stanford victorious tonight behind a season-high tying 25 points from Cameron Brink. Cardinal winning 71-66. to 66.